Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you some techniques that you can use to enlarge and enhance uh, a woman's breasts in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, this is actually kind of a difficult tutorial and I've seen a few out there and they're pretty popular and I, I think I have a few techniques that I can show you uh, that, that might be a little bit better than some of those other tutorials and that's actually why I chose to do this. Okay, So uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started. So I have this picture of a woman in her bathing suit and we're going to go ahead and enhance uh, or enlarge her breasts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this background layer and you can just take this background layer and click and drag it down into the new layer button in your layer palette or you can press control J on your keyboard. I'll go ahead and rename that enlarge because that's what we're going to do. And we'll go ahead and uh, zoom in on the area that we're going to enlarge. Um, which I'm not sure if that was necessary but we'll see. All right, so what we'll do is we'll click on that layer, and then we'll go up to Filter, down to Liquify. Okay, yeah, so it wasn't necessary because it uh, is zoomed out here. All right, so, but what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Bloat tool over here on our toolbar, and we're going to make that uh, the brush size of that just a little bit larger than the area that we want to enhance. So we can go over to our brush size at the right. I made mine about 245. You can change these uh, settings over here to kind of whatever you think your needs are. I've left mine pretty default. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that bloat tool that we've selected on the left. And I'm just going to click a few times until I can get this uh, this area bigger, OK? And I'm going to do these ones kind of a lot uh, just to kind of show you the technique. But I recommend doing about as little as possible of this because it starts to look obviously very unrealistic, okay? But I'm going to try to uh I'm going to try to make these pretty big and uh see if I can make them look a little bit more realistic too. So within uh within this tool, since you can see that we've warped some of these areas and it's starting to look a little bit less realistic, we can just go back and use a uh, our forward warp tool that we uh that I use a lot, kind of more standard, and we can just pull some of these areas back to maybe where they were a little bit and try to make them look a little bit more realistic okay so maybe something like that's a little bit better and uh, another trick that you can do to kind of make the, the breast look a little bit larger is pull the stomach side in just a little bit and pull the bottom up just a hair the more you do the harder it's going to be to fix though so like I said I recommend doing about the least amount as possible Okay, now that's looking pretty good um, for what I've done at least, and I'm gonna so I'm gonna click OK, and then I'll show you um, how we can fix some of these warped. Uh, you can see the arms a little bit warped, and the the side of her body is a little bit warped on both sides. So we're gonna need to fix that. What we need to do is click on this layer that we've uh, liquefied a little bit, and we'll make a layer mask, and we're just gonna erase away the areas that uh, that look warped. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll select that layer mask, and we'll select our eraser. We're gonna go up to the top here. Uh, make the brush size smaller than it is right now, maybe around 68 for this image, I think is fine. And I'm going to make the hardness up a little bit, uh, or maybe around 85 pixels or so. And I'll just go ahead and click off of that, and I'm going to just click around the area that looks warped, okay? Oh, that looks pretty good. They mesh up together pretty well, okay? And I'm going to do the same on the other side. You can see that it kind of bubbles out right here in her arm. So you can tell that that's where it's warped a little bit. So I'll just erase that back a little bit. Keeping in mind the shadows, the natural shadows um, that are there too. Because you don't want to change too much. Now since she's standing in front of water, the water is a little bit less of an issue. So I'm not going to have to do as much on this side, okay? And that's pretty good. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And you can see that we've fixed the areas that have got kind of warped a little bit. Maybe you might choose to bring her arm a little bit in um, just to give it more of a petite look if you want. Okay. Uh, so now we've made them quite a bit larger, but we need to um, probably enhance the cleavage area a little bit, um, make it a little darker in there. So what I'll probably do here is just select my image and I'll probably just burn in a little bit. So I have my exposure set to 50 already. We want probably the shadows selected here at the top. And we want our brush at uh, the hardness set to zero. And the size uh, can be can stay pretty large, actually. 
because what we'll do is we'll just burn in that whole area a little bit okay so I'm just going to click and try to burn in those shadows a little bit that might have been one too many we can change this range to midtones and click around a little bit more until if you click once and it starts to look a little bit too burnt in then you just click on your history back one step okay if the history is not up you can go up to window down to history and that'll bring that up all right and then let's go ahead and select highlights and just see what that does i actually haven't tried that out but uh oh that actually looks pretty good so i'll do that a couple times too and once again if you go one step too far just click back in your history and that's fine okay so this is looking pretty good for what I've done. I've obviously made um, made the breasts a little bit too large in this image, so um, like I said in the beginning, I recommend doing this about just keeping it subtle because it's going to look better. Um, the less you do, kind of the, the more you get out of it, okay? But uh, to show you the technique, um, I, this is what I did, okay? And, uh, and the technique works the same no matter how much you do, okay? So let me go ahead and show you what we started with, and I'll just uh, deselect this top layer so you can see through to our original background. So we started with that, and we ended with with that. Okay, and uh, and uh, I think I'm pretty happy with with the way that that came out um, for this for the purposes of this tutorial anyway. Okay, so uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did, please click the like button on YouTube, and please uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, like me on Facebook, and uh, thanks for watching.